Close your eyes and settle in with the breath. Be comfortable with the breath. Try experimenting with different ways of breathing to see, if you, see what feels best right now. This is food for the mind. As we go through life and trying to develop something good out of our lives, it's going to take energy. The Buddha compares it with soldiers having to defend a fortress. They need their weapons, in other words, their knowledge of the Dhamma, their knowledge of what's right and what's wrong, what's important and what's not important. For example, as the Buddha said, your true wealth is the wealth that you develop in the mind, qualities of the mind. Wealth outside, it comes your way and it goes. You try to get the best use out of it, in other words, turn it into good qualities of the mind while you have it, by being generous, by using your wealth well. But you have to realize it's yours only for a little bit of time. What's yours for long term, though, are the qualities that you develop in the mind. You have to work on those. That requires energy, and the energy comes from concentration, a sense of well-being that comes when the mind can settle down. It's not being pushed around. The Buddha once said that there is no happiness other than peace. And you might be able to think of some ways in which you've been happy which were not very peaceful. But he's talking about a deeper happiness, a happiness where the mind feels at ease, feels at home with itself. It's not being pushed around. It can stay with one thing and not have to worry about going someplace else. And for that kind of happiness, you have to look inside. You stay with the breath. As long as you're alive, the breath will be here. You will learn to relate to it in a good way, then you always have a friend here in the present moment, a friend that feeds you well. When you have that sense of well-being, then we look at the things that are needed to be done in order to develop virtue, endurance, determination, the good qualities of the mind that require strength. Well, you've got the strength to do them because you've got this sense of well-being inside. So nurture this. This is your food. It feeds the soldiers of your right effort. It feeds the gatekeeper of right mindfulness. In other words, mindfulness is what remembers what's right, what's wrong, what's important, what's not. It keeps watch over the mind. Warns the soldiers when something dangerous has come in. It does its best to keep things out to begin with. But if something slips in, then it lets the soldiers know. That way both are strong, because you've got a good solid foundation right here, a good source of food right here, a place where the mind can rest, feed, bandage its wounds. All the requisites that the mind needs are right here in the concentration. So take care of it well. Make sure you do it every day, because the mind needs a place like this, a place where it can rest and find some peaceful happiness. If you look for peace in the world, well, sometimes it has it and sometimes it doesn't. But you can create some peace inside. That's where it really counts.